Local allies. Two men facing serious charges right now because of what they said online. They're accused of making death threats against Mayor Phil Gordon and a police officer. New tonight, ABC 15's Dave Biscoving explains the consequences that can come with what you type. For Charles Piambo, it only took a few seconds on his computer and a few clicks of the mouse. Now he could face serious time behind bars. This weekend, police arrested the 25-year-old for several death threats he made on Facebook to a Mesa officer. One saying he was aiming for brains, and he's not the only one in the valley in trouble for making online threats. This week, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office also announced charges for a 33-year-old man who wrote he was going to shoot Phoenix Mayor Phil Gordon in the comments section of abc15.com. There's this mistaken assumption that online you have the right to say anything without regard for what the consequences might be, and that is thoroughly, totally inaccurate. Nancy Willard is the director for the Center of Safe and Responsible Internet Use. And she says with the expansion of blogs and social media, online threats are becoming more common. Laws apply to cyberspace as just in the same manner that it, they apply in the real world. It's a fact people across the country are learning the hard way. Now, in the big picture today, a cyber threat against President Obama. And students under arrest over a conversation on Facebook. Whenever you post anything online, you leave these little cyber footprints. And the penalties for making online threats isn't light. In fact, the two suspects tonight are facing six charges between them. And if convicted, they could face jail time. Reporting live, Dave Biscoving, ABC 15 News.